peace and love. Beautiful Libras, happy birthday to you. Yeah, happy birthday. Beautiful Libras, we got a few more days. Uh -huh. It's literally countdown, okay? It's countdown. I believe we have uh, four to five days left in Libra season. Make the boat. Make the best of it, okay? Make the best of the beautiful ones. Yeah, we already know. Um, we might as well just go ahead and wrap this year on up and put it in a box with a big pretty bow, okay? Job well done. Let's go ahead. Let's talk about it. Let's see what's going on in the energy. This is an extended temperature check, beautiful ones. I hope that you're all doing beautiful and having... Um, a beautiful Thursday, okay? Wherever you are, we are in this energy of the hunter's moon, the super moon, okay? While you're out there today, <clears throat> if you are out there, if you can stay home, stay home, enjoy, relax, okay? Because that's another part of what spirit is calling you to do in this energy. However, you know, there's road rage. There are people that are out there that... Um, really aren't in control of their waters, okay? And that's their emotions, okay? I started picking up on the energy about two days ago. You know, lots of people angry on the road, driving. All of this is people not understanding their connection to the moon, okay? And when you're literally lost out there and you don't know that you actually are connected to the cosmos, People can fly off the handle. So be sure to protect your energy at this time. While we really enjoy this new energy that's coming in, it's powerful, it's strong, it's real bossy, okay? Uh-huh. Um, actually, yesterday was the 16th, and it is National Bosses Day. So yesterday was National Boss Day, and it makes sense that we would have this energy of Aries coming in with the super moon. So yeah, you can look it up. I don't know if you celebrate that in outside of the United States, but out here in the United States, yesterday was National Bosses Day. So um, I hope you celebrate it, you boss, boss, bossy ones, okay? Let's talk about it. Let's see what's going on in the energy. What's happening in the energy for my beautiful Libras. Happy birthday. Okay. We got the Ten of Cups that's out here, okay? Ten of Cups. Wow. And it came out. It actually it came out in the upright, but I just looked at the deck right now and I see that I have the deck in the reverse. So I'm gonna turn it back up. Mm-hmm. The whole deck is in the reverse. I'll turn it up. <clears throat> which means this Ten of Cups is in the reverse. <clears throat> Excuse me. Give me a second. Let me get a drink of water. Okay, yeah, so you got the Ten of Cups. That's in the reverse. My cards for Libra. <clears throat> Excuse me. You got the tower upright. We got the hangman upright. Somebody's definitely watching, okay? It looks like people aren't having a good time. I could see that already, okay? And they're worried about what you're doing. <laughs> They're not having a good time. It's a lot of karma being handed out, okay? A lot of karmic retribution is at hand. So we got the Ten of Cups out here, the Tower, the Hangman in reverse, and Justice is here. Yeah, you show up on the scene, crispy and clean, okay? Uh-huh, and that Ten of Cups is in reverse. Mm. Yeah, somebody's very unhappy right now. They're in a dark place. The sun is in reverse. Mm-hmm. Could be this here Pisces energy, this here water sign. Let's go ahead. Let's talk about it. Give me the Ten of Cups. Somebody's domestic happiness is not bliss, okay? Somebody is, you know, they whole home life is turned upside down is what I got, okay? It's a dark place to live. Give me the Ten of Cups in reverse spirit. 
this Ten of Cups energy. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so look, it looks like while somebody is not feeling safe at home, there's a new beginning and a stable beginning when it comes to you, Libra. Um, this is a Knight of Pentacles here in the energy. So it's like what goes up must come down is what I'm getting. Oh, yeah, somebody's definitely in a dark place and they're isolated. It's like you're sitting back watching you in your elevation, okay? That's what I'm getting. Give me the Ten of Cups with the Four of Wands. Interesting combination, right? All right. Yeah, so look. <laughs> it's time for you to celebrate, okay? Somebody, Somebody's house, home, wherever it is on the home front is in shambles, okay? It's over. Something has ended, okay? There was no happiness. It was very dark and gloomy there. And now someone wants a new beginning and they want to celebrate. And that's an emperor energy. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yeah. Things are turning around, looks like, for this emperor. Uh huh. Yeah. And like I said, you know, this is Aries energy. This is boss energy. Okay. So somebody's bossing up in this energy. Give me this uh, tower. Give me the tower. Mm, okay, the Hierophant and the Upright. So someone has gone in. Look, things came to a crashing end is what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. Things ended. Uh, people have to be removed from the premises is what I'm getting, okay? Um, someone even could have relocated. I'm getting that someone has moved on to bigger and better things. There's someone that had to go in and do some introspection, all right? They were in a dark place at one time is what I'm getting. Uh huh. They were unhappy. And it's like they were at the same time still visualizing abundance and success. Give me this energy of the higher thing. Tell us about the higher thing. Thank you. Yeah, they were trapped in their head with a lot of burdens, but they put those burdens down is what I'm hearing. Yeah, they put those burdens down. A selfish sacrifice. Someone sacrificed something and it was totally unnecessary, okay? It was unnecessary. But uh, let's see. Give me the hangman in reverse. Mm, could be a Leo energy. Uh-huh. But there's a strong connection, a divine love. Somebody sacrificed a divine partnership. They did, uh-huh. Yeah, give me the strength with the hangman in reverse. Okay. Wow. Okay, yeah. Somebody sacrifice. Mm-hmm. It could be a Leo sacrifice of Taurus energy is what I'm getting, okay? Earth sign. This is a mother figure, and they want more. They want this two of cups energy. They want something divine. So there is this energy of give me the... Queen of Pentacles with this here strength. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here with the strength card? Mm, the devil. I mean, of course, right? Look, three of swords, heartbroken, okay? This Queen of Pentacles has been just a hot mess. Yeah. Mm. So, this was a strong sacrifice. It's like when they got let go, they got dropped from the 20th floor, okay? It's like something is hitting them extremely hard, um, and it could be this energy of just the strength of what it is that they wanted to happen to you. It has all been returned, yeah, and they're now blocked. They're now blocked in this energy, and they're stuck with this heart and whatever demonic energies they're attached to. Because old lady justice is here, okay? Back on the scene, crispy and clean, right? Let's talk about the justice card. That's Libra. Okay. Yeah, you've been at work. You've been hard at work. And people are heartbroken to get uh, around it, okay? This is somebody who wanted to see you not do what it is that you do. Uh-huh. Somebody feels some type of way about you being hard at work. Uh-huh. You blocking them. Mm -hmm. Someone feels like 
they can no longer uh, continue to do the things that they've been doing because what it is that they've all done has been totally senseless. It's basically turned their whole home upside down, caused a tower, has them trapped, okay? <clears throat> and give me the Eight of Pentacles for the justice. I see an increase, okay, for you, beautiful ones. Wow, we're gonna take the flipper. Okay, now, the Three of Swords, this is your card, it flipped over. Overall energy here, someone wants to work on this here, energy of the Three of Swords, okay? Definitely, this Eight of Pentacles here, this is something that someone wants to work on. Um, Someone is broken hearted and it's the man with the cup, okay? Somebody wants to share their emotions with you and they want to work on something, okay? With this justice, okay? With Libra. They want to bring some balance. They want to bring some energy of some fairness is what I'm getting, okay? Give me the three of swords with the eight of pentacles. Three of swords with the eight of pentacles. Mm, yeah, they're watching you. And they still got that cup in their hand. Mm-hmm. They're watching you. They want to heal this broken heart. They do. They're definitely watching you. And yeah, they do. Okay? This is a divine partnership somebody wants to hold together. Okay? They're realizing that, you know, they had some involvement with a demonic soul tie is what I'm getting. Give me the devil with the queen of pentacles. It's a mother figure who was up to no good. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Who was manipulating the energy is what I'm getting. Okay. Yeah, this person wants expansion with you. They want a new beginning overall energy, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this... Three of Wands with this one. This is Four of Wands energy. That's this energy right here with the Three of Cups, okay? So this is definitely somebody thinking about a long-term situation with you is what I'm getting. Uh-huh. With this Three of Wands energy. Tell us more. So It's like someone, this Queen of Pentacles energy, this Earth sign, they're obsessing over what it is, this expansion, this new beginning, okay? Okay. Why is the devil here with the Three of Wands and this Queen of Pentacles? What is this energy about, Spirit? Okay. Somebody wanted to get their wishes fulfilled, okay? It came out crossing, too. So they did not get their wishes fulfilled, and they're holding on. So that's why it's there. Someone, you know, they just wanted to win okay when it comes down to it they wanted to get their wishes fulfilled and they were holding on yeah they were uh -huh. and they got walked away from six of cups okay yeah someone walked away because they wanted to go towards something better okay now back over here to this energy of the four of wands and the three of cups somebody's ready to celebrate beautiful ones okay Give me the three of cups with the four of wands. Three of cups with the four of wands for this energy. And that's a lot, but I'm going to take the one off the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that part. Okay. They want to celebrate two of cups. This is a divine union, but they feel stuck. They feel stuck in this energy, okay? Uh-huh. Why do they feel stuck? Let's see. It's a king of cups, and they feel stuck for some reason, all right? Yeah, it's like someone wants to move forward, but they don't quite know how. Um, this person, they feel stuck and stagnated. Yeah, but they definitely want to move forward. You got the, look, you got the King of Cups with the chariot. And I see why they're not going anywhere. Look, they're uh, connected to some type of... Um, religious uh whether they realize it or not they're connected to some type of um religious um society um some type of group that is basically keeping them stuck keeping them stagnant mm -hmm. this is someone who is doing things unorthodox or uh, could even be going against what it is that they traditionally would go against or you know be with Traditional. This is someone who's not operating in a traditional way. 
and they want a new beginning. It's like they've made a decision. They've made a decision. Give me the two of cups in this energy because somebody wants to celebrate. They feel stuck. They feel like what they're doing is not traditional. But what is tradition? People have to really take a look at the traditions or the things that they call traditions in their life. Look, traditionally, the family was crooked, okay? People told lies. People were not honest with them. People um, tried to um, really be malicious when it came to family structure, okay? Ten of Pentacles is really losing the legacy, mm-hmm. So what I'm getting is that whatever someone that, you know, was used to operating in and carrying out what might even seem as tradition, the whole, the whole tradition was a facade, okay? Because it was coming from an unhealed place. It was coming from generations of unhealed people, all right? Mm -hmm. People who practice malicious practices, all right, in order to keep people stuck, okay? And this is something that somebody has to face about their bloodline. Do you correct it or do you just become a prisoner to it, okay? Yeah, mm -hmm. somebody's been thinking long and hard about that. They've been thinking long and hard about that, okay? Somebody's been dealing with a liar. Tell me about this here liar. It's uh, the Queen of Swords in reverse. Give me the Queen of Swords in reverse. Is somebody in their family or someone who they call family? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. See, somebody in their family didn't want to see them bring a cup to you or passionately come towards you either is what I'm getting, okay? Uh-huh. And uh, you know what? Someone definitely is no longer giving to this liar, okay? I looked at this again, and this is actually the Six of Cups, but I meant what I said, okay? Excuse me, Six of Pentacles. This is, it came out in the reverse. So this is someone no longer giving to a liar, okay? No longer giving to someone who is malicious, right? It's like somebody's choosing a better life for themselves is what I'm getting. That's what I got. Mm -hmm. And they're wanting to come towards you. They were being stopped. They could have called this person their family member. Um, but look, whatever they built together is not there anymore. It's in shambles and it was a facade, okay? <laughs> what I said, they're not giving to this energy anymore. And this malicious individual that was manipulating things through spells, okay? That's what I'm picking up, okay? whether these spells or words that were spoken or chanted, whatever it was, it was something that they were involved in that they did not know, you know, at least to the full extent that they were in deep, okay? Mm -hmm. Give me the Six of Pentacles in your verse. Yeah, sleepless nights, stress, and some anxiety for the emperor. Hmm. Because all they want to do is have this here cup. Mm -hmm. Cup runneth over. Cup runneth over. Because they made a choice when it came to the lovers. Mm. Yeah, it was a selfish sacrifice. That's what it was. Hmm. Tell us about the Nine of Swords. Tell us more. You know, someone's no longer getting to a, a situation and they're realizing is where they want to be, who they want to be with in this energy. They've known all along. Wow, look how that flips over. <laughs> King of Cups. They've known all along, all along, okay? And they're in this energy of wanting to passionately move towards you. Again, this person could have a Leo placement. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they could see you in the public eye as well. Mm, here goes that Ten of Pentacles. This is what they want. They want something upright. They want to build in the energy. They see a Ten of Pentacles in the energy. In a chapter in their head, this tower they definitely had to go through. All right. They've been in hermit mode. So it shows that it's been some type of some type of expression 
when it comes to the self realization but they've definitely been in their head let's see about this eight of swords Yeah, they put down some burdens. And this burden is this here. Either it was a cult or something occult that they were linked into, tied into. It was some type of organization that was unorthodox, okay? It was, okay? And they want new love. It's like someone was, they were connected with their lower selves, okay? I mean, this is your inner guru, higher self connection source, okay? Um, even um, religious organizations, but in the reverse, this is the very opposite, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to know more about this energy. Hmm. You need a hierophant in reverse. Hierophant in reverse. Mm-hmm, just what I thought. Yeah, they were definitely, look, your person was dealing with somebody who was codependent and they were um, involved in a dark group, okay? They were connected to people who play around with dark energy, okay? They were. This is what I'm feeling. And this is what kept your person uh, at a stalemate energy with you is what I'm getting. Yeah, this person, look, the high priestess with this here energy mm -hmm, of confusion. I can't make it up. Of confusion, seven of cups in your head. There's a high priestess that worked in this energy with the moon, okay? Look, I cannot make this energy up. I know what I'm feeling is right. They were dealing with someone who was tied to a group or organization. It doesn't matter if they paid into this. I believe that they made some type of, type of sacrifice. And your person may have been the one being sacrificed, okay? Uh-huh, is what I'm getting. Tell us more about the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is that energy of the um, Taurus energy. Possible Virgo, okay? Could be Capricorn, but I'm feeling highly a Taurus energy, okay? They could have that placement. They got cut off, okay? Uh-huh, they got cut off. And someone, you know, this energy was unbalanced. It was unbalanced. They were unbalanced. They are unbalanced. And they're also a queen of cups energy. This is somebody who, look, they'll cry at the drop of a dime in order to manipulate you through your emotions, okay? This is that type of energy. It is, okay? Yeah. This is someone who was crying and begging someone to stay. Any means necessary, beautiful ones. That's what was going on in the energy. Your person is watching you. They want to heal a broken heart, okay? Whether it's yours or theirs, okay? Um, give me the page of swords in this energy. Tell us more about the page of swords in this energy. Mm-hmm, yeah. Justice is in reverse. Somebody feels like they were wrongly judged. They do see you as nostalgic in the energy, okay? Mm-hmm. However... Someone didn't want to go through an awakening. It's something you need a ju judgment in reverse. This is your energy too. Judgment in reverse. Okay. Yeah, it's this is Queen of Cups energy. Who's watching you? Her thirsty ass, lying and stealing and sneaking. But you close a tower on them. Mm-hmm. And so they're stuck in the past where they belong. Give me the Queen of Cups and we're closing out. I'll be back in the energy tonight. Look forward to the reading for this evening, beautiful ones. Again, if you are interested in the one-on-one -on -one booking, look, it came out again, okay? They're up to no good. Go ahead and get yourself booked at empress444tarot.com. Everything is linked in the description below. You walked away from these unbalanced energies, okay? Yeah, the Queen of Cups energy. Mm. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm getting, beautiful ones? I'm getting that your cup is closed 
it is no balance here. And <laughs> you walked away from a King of Cups energy because there was no balance. You weren't comfortable in this space. You were not. You're this Queen of Cups, okay? Uh-huh. And it definitely spying on you. Yeah, heartbroken. Yeah. That's what's going on. Queen of Cups with the Eight of Cups. Okay. Queen of Cups with the Eight of Cups. Just one. Yeah, you got somebody all in their head about healing this situation. They're keeping some hope and some faith in the energy. They're hoping that you'll take this solid offer. Okay, slow and steady wins the race. Beautiful ones. I'll be back in energy soon. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace and love.